This is the 9th of May, 2022. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. And we're getting ready to run a test here. We've been uh, letting our material soak for the last four hours in a mixture of... Uh, hey, Bob. Over here we got the... Uh... It's compacted. And what we did here was uh, we mixed 30 pounds of that fiber with 60 pounds of pure ethanol and 90 pounds of uh, water uh, in this drum, which we've been uh, turning every now and then uh, to keep it agitated. Um, and this is the material we're going to run in the CP4 screw press right here. Motor, horsepower, it's one and a half screw. Screen, we picked a six thousandths of an inch opening. That is uh, 150 microns slot width there. And he actuated the cone. So this is the press we're going to run the sample in. We're going to collect all of the liquid that we separate. We're finding out to what extent it needs to be filtered. And then we'll uh, uh, expect to run it. These are the condensation the columns where you'll see the alcohol solvent draining out. Uh, minus uh, 10, 20 centigrade in there. And here is where we're heating up a sample. We'll be left with the crude. Okay, we're getting ready to start. Okay. Wow, it really soaked up all that water and alcohol. It really did. It's gonna be a quick. Didn't all float to the top, did it? It looks about the same. It, it's, it's... Okay. Looks like it'll work. Yep. Edward wanted to get a bag of it to make some tea. We ran out. <laughs> the hundred pounds wasn't enough. No, no, we got some plenty of it. Okay. As we see, I got a felt tip pen here. Okay. So that's the draw. Oh, okay. Here, so you can see the difference. Good. Trying to get a little bit of fiber here, but I okay, pushing it open. Probably what do you say, good enough to close it? Yeah, go ahead and close it. What pressure are you gonna use? 
It's got about one bar. Okay. PSI. Yeah, 15 PSI. One bar is good. Go ahead. Okay, we've got a steady flow of press cake coming out. It is a slow. I expected it to have more throughput capacity. Okay, let's see you squeeze it. Nothing. Not a drop. Not a drop. You might feel about half of one drop between it, but not much. Okay. Sludge being forced through the screen over here. Okay, we're running a timed test. We're keeping the air pressure at one bar and the cone speed. What hertz are you running? You know? Uh, we're at 60 hertz. 50? 60. 60 hertz, so it's full speed, probably about 24 RPM, maybe 28 on this press. And we're uh, one minute into our test. Okay, we uh, took off our 006 screen. This is what it looked like inside. Pretty steady, more and more compression as it went along. There's where the resistor teeth were. And we're going to put in a... Uh, uh, oh, 400 micron uh, slot instead of 150. 16,000, 15,000. Okay, we're 50 seconds into our second time test. Um, notice we're getting more fines coming through the screen. And our cake, we're still running at one bar. This cake still feels cool. I don't get any liquid between my fingers, so there's not much more that I could squeeze out. It feels cool. There is some alcohol evaporating from my hand. So this is our second time test. One bar pressure, 20 RPM, and a um, 400 micron, 16 thousandths of an inch uh, slot width on the screen. Okay, here's our filtered press liquor being drawn by vacuum uh, into the roto valve. We have a vacuum up here to, to do that. No sludge in the bottom. No sludge in the bottom. No 
turn it off. Okay. Okay. How long have we took it for? A couple hours? A few hours? It's gonna, I don't, the last one we cooked really hot, we went to 70 C. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. Uh, Alex is always about doing things really quick and hot and fast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run this slow. I'm going to run this at uh, probably about 40, 45 feet. Okay, 40, 45 centigrade. It's been under deep vacuum. It's going to go to deep. It'll be down to... Vacuum's still going up. It'll be down to like a 0.2 um, atmosphere. Okay. Negative 0.2 atmosphere. That's pretty deep vacuum. Yep. Um, and um, 